Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a moment to honor the incredible talents we've lost in April 2024. These actors brought joy, laughter, and sometimes tears to our lives through their unforgettable performances. From blockbuster hits to heartfelt dramas, their performances have touched our lives in so many ways. Join us as we celebrate their legacies, relive their most iconic moments, and remember the impact they had on Hollywood and beyond. This might be a gift you won't want to miss today. Cole Brings Plenty Born on August 18, 1996, was a talented actor known for his roles in several notable films. His filmography includes works such as, 1923, 2022, Into the Wild Frontier, 2022, and The Tall Tales of Jim Bridger, 2024. Brings Plenty's performances showcased his skill and dedication to his craft, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Tragically, he passed away on April 5, 2024, at the young age of 27, in Edgerton, Kansas, USA. His untimely death was met with sadness and shock, as the industry mourned the loss of a promising talent. Joe Flaherty, an American actor, writer, and comedian, is widely recognized for his notable contributions to the entertainment industry. He gained prominence through his work on the Canadian sketch comedy show SCTV, where he showcased his comedic talents as both an actor and a writer. 1976 to 1984. Additionally, Flaherty left an indelible mark on popular television shows and films, including his portrayal of Harold Weir in Freaks and Geeks, 1999, and his role as a conman in Happy Gilmore, 1996. In the CBS sitcom The King of Queens, Flaherty delighted audiences with his portrayal of Father McAndrew, the priest at Heffernan's church. He also lent his talent to Bite TV's original show, Uncle Joe's Cartoon Playhouse, and served as a judge on the CBC show, The Second City's Next Comedy Legend. Joe Flaherty's remarkable career came to an end on April 1, 2024, at the age of 82, following a brief illness. Christopher Durang, an esteemed American playwright, is renowned for his distinctive style of crafting outrageous and delightfully absurd comedies. While he primarily made his mark as a playwright, Durang also dabbled in acting, making appearances in notable films such as the 1987 comedy, The Secret of My Success, Mr. North, in 1988, Penn and Teller Get Killed, in 1989. In addition to his artistic pursuits, Durang served as the co-director of the esteemed Lila Acheson Wallace American Playwrights Program at Juilliard, contributing to the nurturing of emerging talents in the field. Durang passed away at his home in Pennsylvania on April 2, 2024, at the age of 75, due to complications from aphasia. Adrian Schiller, an esteemed English actor, had a remarkable career that spanned over three decades. He first stepped into the spotlight with his appearance in a December 1992 episode of Prime Suspect, marking the beginning of his enduring presence on screen. His powerful performance in this advertisement earned him the Best Actor Award at the BTACA Awards in December 2008. More recently, in 2021, he captivated audiences with his role as Pasha Verdinikov in two episodes of the popular series, Death in Paradise. Adrian Schiller passed away, suddenly and unexpectedly, on April 3, 2024, at the age of 60. His death was announced the following day in a statement by his agent. Vera Chichawa, a Russian-German multi-talented individual, made significant contributions as a producer, director, screenwriter, and actress. She gained widespread recognition as the companion of the legendary Elvis Presley, particularly during his public support of the oral polio vaccine, OPV. Their connection extended to their joint performances during Presley's initial year in Germany while serving in the U.S. Army, 1959. Vera Chichawa's versatile career spanned various artistic endeavors, and her work left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Regrettably, she passed away in Berlin on April 3, 2024, at the age of 83. Peter Sodon, a versatile German actor, director, and politician, left a significant mark on both the entertainment and political landscapes of his country. Beginning his acting career in television shows in the late 1970s, Sodon gained widespread fame in 1991 with his role as police commissioner Bruno Ehrlicher in the beloved crime series, Tadort. A role he held until, 2007. Beyond his acting career, Sodon ventured into politics and was the left party's candidate for the 2009 presidential election, though the German media did not view him as a serious contender. Demonstrating his diverse talents, Sodon also starred in the traveling play, ost west vis a vis alongside CDU politician and former Labour Minister Norbert Blum starting, 2007. 
Peter Sodon passed away on April 5, 2024, at the age of 87. Ernesto Gomez Cruz, a highly regarded Mexican actor, has had an illustrious career spanning over 154 films. At the time of his death, he was one of the few remaining luminaries from the revered golden age of Mexican cinema. Among the notable films that brought him recognition are El Infierno, 2010, El Crimen del Padre Amaro, 2002, Arturo Ripstein's El Imperio de la Fortuna, 1987, La Vispera, 1983, Cadena Perpetua, by Ripstein, 1979. On April 6, 2024, Gomez died in Mexico City, 90 years old. Zofia Kukauna, a distinguished Polish actress, made a lasting impact on both stage and screen throughout her illustrious career. She captivated audiences with her performances in notable Polish films and television series such as Belka, Weeksa i Nazwiksa, 1962, Spirala, 1978, Pestka, 1995, Sizefau Preis, 2000. Beyond her acting achievements, Kukauna was also a celebrated author, best known for her memoir, Zatterzamak Chus, published 1990. Her writings offered a profound glimpse into her life and the world of Polish theater and cinema. Zofia Kukauna passed away on April 6, 2024, in Konstantin Jeziorna, Mazowiecki, Poland, at the age of 90. Patty Astor, an influential American artist, made significant contributions to the New York City underground film scene of the 1970s and the East Village art movement of the 1980s. Renowned for her dynamic presence, she starred in several notable films, most memorably in Eric Mitchell's, Underground USA, 1980, alongside poet René Ricard. Beyond her acting career, Astor played a pivotal role in the early popularization of hip-hop culture and co-founded the groundbreaking Fun Gallery, which became a hub for contemporary art and emerging artists. Patty Astor passed away in Hermosa Beach, California, on April 9, 2024, at the age of 74, leaving behind a legacy of creativity and innovation. Eckhart Dukes, a German actor known for his versatile talents, made significant contributions to both the big and small screens. Dukes's vocal talents were particularly noteworthy, as he provided the German dubbing for esteemed actors such as Anthony Perkins in Psycho, Steve Martin, Fred Astaire, George Peppard, in the action series, The A-Team, and Jerry Stiller. Beyond his work in the field of dubbing, Dukes also established himself as an actor and radio presenter, showcasing his talent across various mediums. He resided in Sassenberg until his passing on April 9, 2024, at the remarkable age of 97. Thelma Durantes, a Mexican actress, was born on September 30, 1949, in Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. Throughout her career, she garnered recognition for her notable performances in various films and television shows. Among her notable works are, La Secta del Sargon, 1990, Amorcito Corazon, 2011, and, Juventud Rebelled, 1987. She passed away in Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico, on April 10, 2024, at the age of 74. O.J. Simpson, a prominent American football player, actor, and media personality, made his mark both on and off the field. He enjoyed an illustrious 11-season career in the National Football League (NFL), primarily with the Buffalo Bills. Simpson's foray into acting began during his college years at USC where he appeared in an uncredited role on Dragnet as a potential recruit for the Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD. His media presence grew when he appeared as an audience member on NBC's Saturday Night Live during its second season and later hosted an episode in its third season, becoming the second professional athlete to do so. O.J. Simpson passed away from an illness on April 10, 2024, at the age of 76, while living in Las Vegas. Meg Bennett, an accomplished American writer, actress, and television model. She gained prominence when she was cast as Julia Newman on the soap opera, The Young and the Restless, in 1980, a role she portrayed intermittently for six years. Her talent caught the attention of Bill Bell, the show's creator, who recognized her skills and invited her to contribute as a script doctor, 1981. Bennett's dedication to writing eventually took precedence over her acting career, leading to her sharing an Emmy Award with the writing team of General Hospital, 1995. Despite focusing primarily on writing, she continued to showcase her acting prowess with occasional appearances, notably as the villain Allegra on General Hospital. Meg Bennett passed away after battling cancer on April 11, 2024, at the age of 75. Lorena Velasquez 
a celebrated Mexican actress and former beauty pageant winner, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Throughout the 1960s, Velázquez showcased her versatility by portraying various characters, ranging from vedettes to cowboys. And even a captivating vampire queen. In the 1970s, Velázquez made a seamless transition to television, captivating audiences with her compelling performances. She skillfully navigated between the realms of the big screen and the small screen, showcasing her range as an actress. Regrettably, on April 11, 2024, Velázquez passed away at the age of 86. Ron Thompson, a multi-talented American artist, made his mark as an actor, singer, songwriter, and dancer. His exceptional talent and dedication to his craft were recognized when he won the prestigious Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award for his standout performance in the 1973 theater production of Do Tigers Wear Ties? This role, previously portrayed by a young Al Pacino, earned Thompson critical acclaim and cemented his reputation as a formidable stage performer. In the realm of television, he took on the challenging dramatic role of Henry David Thoreau in the 1976 NBC drama series, The Rebels, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Notably, he starred in the 2018 thriller film, Cargo, further solidifying his place in the entertainment industry. Thompson passed away at his apartment in Van Nuys, Los Angeles. On April 13, 2024, at the age of 83, Giannis Ferdis, a prominent Greek actor, left an indelible mark on the world of theater and film. Throughout his career, he formed his own theater groups and collaborated with esteemed individuals, including Xenia Kalajeropoulou, his wife from 1965 to 1976, as well as other notable actors and directors. Ferdi's seamlessly transitioned from the stage to the screen, starring in various television series and movies. One of his most notable screen portrayals was as the naive young hero in the 1966 film, Underscore Zestos Minos Avgustos. On April 14, 2024, Ferdi's passed away at the age of 85. Vincent Friel, a Scottish actor, made a lasting impression in both film and television throughout his career. He is best remembered for his role as Will Bryce in the beloved Scottish crime comedy, Restless Natives, 1985. Friel's versatility extended beyond this iconic role, with notable appearances in other Scottish films such as Trainspotting, 1996, and The Angels Share, 2012 where he continued to captivate audiences with his presence. Vincent Friel passed away on April 14, 2024, at the age of 64. Frank Ferrucci, a notable actor and producer, made his mark in the entertainment industry with his memorable performances. He is recognized for his roles in films such as Stolen Souls, 2012, and notable television series including MacGyver, 1985, and The Comish, 1991. On April 14, 2024, Ferrucci passed away in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. Richard von Roel, a distinguished actor known for his roles in German film and television, left a notable imprint on the entertainment industry. He gained recognition for his performances in various productions, including Lena, Lieb Minas Lebens, 2010, Klimbim, 1973, and Sisi und der Kaiserkus, 1991 where his talent and presence resonated with audiences. Richard von Roel passed away on April 16, 2024, in Recklinghausen, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany, at the age of 86. Antonio Cantafora, a talented Italian actor in both film and television. During the period from 1973 to 1977, he embarked on a series of films alongside Paul L. Smith, with the duo aiming to replicate the success of the renowned pair Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. As his career progressed, he transitioned into the role of a character actor, working with esteemed directors such as Federico Fellini, Jerzy Skolomowski, and Bruno Barreto. On April 20, 2024, Cantafora passed away in Rome at the age of 80 due to a heart attack. Joseph Laufer, born on August 11, 1939, in Les Sables de Lon, Vendée, France, was a respected actor known for his contributions to Czech film and television. His career spanned decades and included notable roles in films such as Starsi na Chamelu, 1964, Zervi Reporter, 1987, and Lovic Senzaci, 1989, where he showcased his talent and versatility. His passing on April 20, 2024, at the age of 84. Philippe Laudenbach, a highly regarded French actor, enjoyed a prolific career spanning over six decades with appearances in more than a hundred films since 1963. Laudenbach's talent extended beyond the screen, 
earning him a nomination for the prestigious Moliere Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1998 for his memorable performance in Luigi Pirandello's play, The Crazy's Hat. His contributions to French cinema and theater were significant, leaving an enduring impact on both audiences and fellow artists. Philippe Laudenbach passed away on April 22, 2024, at the age of 88. Terry Carter, an accomplished American actor and filmmaker, made a lasting impact on both the small and big screens. He became widely recognized for his portrayal of SGT Joe Broadhurst in the popular television series, McLeod, and as Colonel Ty in the original, Battlestar Galactica. In addition to his acting career, Carter ventured into the realm of filmmaking and entrepreneurship. In 1975, he founded Meta, Four Productions, Inc., a small corporation based in Los Angeles. Through this venture, he produced and directed a range of industrial and educational presentations, utilizing film and videotape, primarily catering to the federal government. On April 23, 2024, Carter passed away in New York City at the remarkable age of 95. Margaret Williams, a distinguished British film and television director headquartered in London. She garnered acclaim for her work directing films for the BBC, notably the dance drama, Cross Channel, in 1992, which highlighted her talent for capturing movement and emotion on screen. Williams collaborated closely with choreographer Victoria Marx on several projects, including the poignant films, Mothers and Daughters, in 1994 and Outside In. Her films often explored complex themes with a focus on interpersonal relationships and human connection. Margaret Williams passed away on April 14, 2024, at the age of 73. Margaret Lee, a renowned English actress, gained widespread recognition for her captivating performances in Italian films throughout the 1960s and 1970s. While most of her notable work was in Italian cinema, Lee had a brief appearance in the British television series, The Protectors, in 1972, where she showcased her versatility as an actress. In the episode titled, The Numbers Game, she made a guest appearance, further showcasing her talent to a wider audience. Additionally, Lee had the opportunity to portray the iconic character Cinderella in the 1969 Italian television special, Il Cenerentola. On April 24, 2024, Margaret Lee passed away at the age of 80. Marla Adams, an esteemed American television actress, achieved recognition for her memorable roles that spanned decades. She gained prominence as Belle Clemens on the soap opera, The Secret Storm. Captivating audiences from 1968 to 1974 with her compelling portrayal. Adams further solidified her place in television history with her portrayal of Dina Abbott Mergeron on The Young and the Restless, a role that earned her a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Her versatility shone through in various roles, including her portrayal of First Lady Matthews in the television series The President's Man, 2000. Marla Adams passed away in Los Angeles on April 25. 2024, at the age of 85, Brian McCarty, a talented Scottish actor and writer, he gained widespread acclaim for his portrayal of John Thomas, Tommy, Hunter in the BBC police procedural series, Line of Duty, where his nuanced performance resonated with audiences. McCarty showcased his versatility in the three-part BBC One drama, Time, in 2021, further demonstrating his range as an actor. Beyond acting, he expressed his creativity through poetry, performing his own works at various venues across Ireland and sharing them through online platforms. Brian McCarty passed away on April 28, 2024, at the age of 59. Zach Norman, a multi-talented American actor, comedian, film producer, and art collector. He is primarily recognized for his memorable role as the older brother of Danny DeVito's character in the 1984 film, Romancing the Stone, by 20th Century Fox. Beyond his acting career, Norman had a keen interest in art and became an avid art collector. In 2017, he made headlines when he sold a work by the renowned artist Jean-Michel Basquiat for a staggering record price of over $110 million. On April 1, 2017, Norman succumbed to bilateral pneumonia related to COVID-19 in Burbank, California, at the age of 83. Alan Scarfe, an accomplished English-Canadian actor, theater director, and author. He served as associate director of the prestigious Stratford Festival from 1976 to 1977 and also contributed to the Everyman Theatre in Liverpool from 1967 to 1968, showcasing his leadership and artistic vision. Scarfe's talent shone on screen, earning him accolades such as the 1985 Genie Award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role for his role in The Bay Boy. He was also recognized with two Genie nominations for Best Actor, 
notably for his performance in Deserters, 1984. Alan Scarfay passed away at the age of 77 on April 28, 2024, at his home in Lingale, Quebec, following a battle with colon cancer. Jerry Abbott, an esteemed American country music musician and record producer, played a significant role in the music industry. He is notably recognized as the father of Vinnie Paul and Dimebag Daryl, two prominent heavy metal musicians who gained fame as members of the bands Pantera and Damage Plan. Jerry Abbott's influence and support were instrumental in shaping the musical careers of his talented sons. On April 2, 2024, Jerry Abbott passed away at a care facility in Denton, Texas, at the age of 81. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video on actors who passed away in April 2024. If you found the information informative or moving, please consider supporting my channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with others who may be interested. Your support helps me continue to create content that honors the legacies of these talented individuals. Thank you again for your support and for being a part of our communa.